Hi, this is part six of our infertility series, and today I'd like to talk about a very, very common uh, misconception or misdiagnosis in infertility. So, a very common uh, diagnosis that a lot of uh, uh, patients will get, especially if they're infertility, if they're experiencing infertility, is that they will get diagnosed for chromosomal abnormality. So that means. Uh, Either the part, uh, the female partner or the male partner has something wrong with their chromosomes and therefore uh, diagnosed by their doctors to be um, uh, absolutely infertile, uh, infertile, which means it's very difficult for them to get pregnant or they will continue to miscarry. So they should just go for a uh, adoption, surrogacy, or uh, in the final option or the more extreme option is that they should just go find uh, new partners if they want to have a pregnancy. So uh, the most common type of diagnosis, especially in abnorm uh, chromosomal abnormality, is uh, balanced translocation in their genes. Uh, if you get diagnosed by balanced translocation and if your doctor says that uh, there's no treatment for this, I'm here to tell you that balanced translocation uh, or this type of uh, uh, inherited chromosomal abnormality is actually harmless and does nothing to cause your miscarriage, your pregnancy loss, or infertility. There is actually another underlying cause that is not uh, being uh, diagnosed or nobody knows about that is actually causing the infertility. Your chromosomal conditions, especially if it's a balanced translocation, a lot of patients get diagnosed with balanced translocation, which this only means that there is a rearrangement of your genes. This is actually uh, not fatal not harmful and there is no loss in the genetic material so it will not cause any uh, pregnancy loss or miscarriage but a lot of patients are uh, falsely getting diagnosed with this type of diagnosis and then they go on to end their marriages or go for a, a surrogacy or adoption when they can clearly get pregnant as long as they find out the real reason there could be something wrong with the fallopian tubes the ovaries but when they get diagnosed with this they are just uh, exiled as if they have, they have no options at all. So I hope this video can give you an awareness about this type of a misdiagnosis. If you have any type of uh, concern or question, please leave them in the comments below and we can discuss.